Now I can't get comments like this and not say something about it. So typically your art library is not visible, but you can go to window and then art library. Click on that and that brings that up and you can see I have zero art, art libraries in here, um, nothing to show. So let's make one. Okay, so we're gonna click on new. In my Lightburn folder, I made a libraries folder and this is where I can create my libraries and you can create multiple libraries. So this first one is gonna be most used. We're gonna save that. And now you can see up here, most used. And I want to import a design. So I'm going to go to that ornament template that we made in the previous ornament video. If you would like to watch that video, click on this card. And bam, there you can see. So now when I want this in my project, drag it over and now I have my base ornament template ready to go. Let's say I wanted another library, so most used or something else. Let's say that I just do ornaments a lot. So I'm going to make another library that is just ornaments, save that, and then ornaments is selected here. You can see that there's nothing in there. Most used, I click on that and bam, I have my most used ornament. Hey. I wanted to talk to you for a second about Amazon business. It's the same as regular Amazon, but it's the business side. You get analytics. Uh, if you have multiple people in your shop, you can see spending habits and trends, all that good stuff. One man shop here. So a lot of that doesn't matter to me, but I hooked it up to my regular Amazon. So I get the prime shipping. I don't get two day shipping where I am in Wyoming, but maybe you get uh, same day shipping where you are in, in a bigger city or, or wherever. Uh, prices are a little bit better than regular Amazon too. Not by a ton, but every penny counts when you are running a small business may or may not be right for you but there's a link in the description below check it out see if it'll work for you so let's say that I just designed this ornament template and I want to put this in, a, in my ornament library so I'm gonna select it import graphic from project select that name ornament okay and now in my ornaments I have that ornament template. In my most use, I have the ornament template that I imported from my SVGs, or my SVG files. Another way to utilize this is, let's say that I always use a four by four square in all of my projects, or a lot of projects. We have a four by four square here, and most used, and again, import graphic from project, four by four square. Save that. And now that is ready to use uh, at a moment's notice. We can close this uh, window. We'll bring it back up, art library, and there they are. In my ornaments, I have my ornament. My most used, I have my ornament template and my four by four square. And as you can see here, if you hover over it, you can see a preview of what that's going to be. If I want to utilize that, grab it and just drag it right in. Uh, double clicking will insert that item in the center of your uh, work table there. Now, if you right click on a piece of artwork in here, uh, you can see there's a couple of different things, uh, a couple of different options. Add section or add selection to library. Click on that make a different name for it. So we'll call this uh, rectangle. Okay. And now that's essentially a copy, but renamed. I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete that. You sure you want to delete this from your uh, library? Yes, absolutely. And then if you right click, you can also rename these. Uh, so I want to rename this one. It's currently uh, lowercase s, but I want an uppercase s. You have anything you want to add to this, uh, be sure to comment below. And thanks for checking it out. Subscribe!